Hi, my name is Caroline and welcome to my wine cellar. I am pleased to present this video in partnership with www.allfreechristmascrafts.com. Keep your wine nice and cozy this holiday season with the Santa Pants Wine Bag. The materials you'll need for this Santa Pants Wine Bag is red fleece, white fleece, red fabric for the suspenders, cotton is best, velvet ribbon for the belt, and then a small purse belt buckle. The tools you'll need for this project are your sewing machine, white sewing machine thread, red sewing machine thread, cutting elements, straight pins, measuring elements, don't forget your iron and ironing board, and you'll also need a bit of double-sided adhesive that you can get from the notions wall in your local craft store. Your first step is to cut out your fabric. Take your red fleece fabric and cut two rectangles, each of them 12 and a half inches by 10 inches. Using your same fleece fabric, cut out two circular pieces, each of them four inches in diameter. Now taking your white fleece fabric, cut two rectangles, each of them three inches by twelve and a half inches. Now taking your red cotton fabric, cut out fabric for the wine bottle handles, each of them four inches by twenty-three inches. Now let's start working with the pant legs. With the right sides facing up, pin the white fleece half an inch above the bottom edge of the red fleece. Top stitch the top and bottom of the white fleece in place. Repeat for the other piece. Now turn over the red fleece and fold down the opposite end from the white cuff one and a quarter inches. Pin in place. Top stitch this in place. Repeat this step for the other piece. Now holding the right sides together, sew the side that is now 8 and 3 quarters inches long with a half inch seam allowance. This forms your Santa pant legs. We will now sew the bottom of the wine bag. With the right sides together, pin in place the circular bottom fabric to the bottom of the wine bottle cover. Sew in place with a half inch seam allowance. Turn inside out so the right side is now visible. Don't forget to repeat for the other side. Next, we will attach the two pant legs together, first by lining up the inside seams and then pinning it into place. I am now marking one inch away from each side of the seam. I am now carefully sewing the inseam of the pant legs together by sewing one inch down, two inches across, and then one inch back up to attach the two pant legs together. In order to provide a more realistic pants look, I am now hand stitching approximately three inches from the top of the wine bag. Now we are starting work on the handles of the wine bag. First you fold in half lengthwise the red cotton pieces of fabric and press. Then you open back up your fold and fold in the raw edges of your red cotton fabric and then you fold in half again. Now this encases your long raw edges. In this step, I will sew right along the edge of the long sides of each handle. Don't forget to repeat this step for the other handle. Now we will finish off the short edges of the handle by folding over half an inch and then finishing with a zigzag stitch. In this step, I am now pinning the handles in place. I am now going from the front of the 
right bottle holder to the back of the left bottle holder. Next, I will pin a handle from the front of the left bottle holder to the back of the right bottle holder. This will provide a suspender-like look for your Santa pants wine bag. Now that we have pinned the handles in place, we will sew the handles in place. I am simply sewing a straight stitch in a square pattern. Repeat this step three more times. We are almost done with our Santa pants wine bag now. For the belt, I'm taking a piece of velvet ribbon, cutting it 20 inches, and then making a hole in the middle center of the ribbon. This is so I can thread my belt buckle through the middle of the ribbon. So this is purely decorative, which is why we're just going to put the belt buckle right in the middle of our black velvet ribbon. Now that we have the belt buckle in place, we'll use the double-sided adhesive, attach it to the back of the black velvet, and then pull off the other side of the adhesive. Now I'm positioning my belt buckle right in the middle on the top of the wine bag and using the adhesive to stick the black velvet to the top of the wine bag. Now here's the back view where the decorative velvet that looks like a Santa belt is attached. Thank you for watching. This video has been brought to you by my friends at www.allfreechristmascrafts.com.